Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hello, fellow Aquas. This is our September readings. Yes, it's that time, hunties. That means we've already done August readings. If you missed it, you've got a bit to catch up on. I've been doing a whole bunch of bonus rounds for Zodiac signs. You've got a whole lot to catch up on. I feel it's kind of relevant with the energy. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Maybe you catch up with an old friend. Maybe you catch up with someone from a past life. So they're new in this life, but they're not new to your life, to your soul. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I feel that energy. All right, fellow aquas, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher. You deserve love. You are lovable. Cupid's arrow is pointed at somebody's ass. Yeah, we've already learned the art of self-love. And if you have not yet, you better get to it. Right, that's what we have learned, most of us, on this journey. It's never been about them. It's always been about us. If I love me, nobody's opinion of me can shake me because I love me. I don't put my heart and soul and happiness into someone else's hands. Someone learned the art of self-love. Someone realizes and knows what the fuck they deserve and they will not settle. But that's Cupid's arrow. I'm telling you. That is definitely Cupid's arrow unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going you might find and it might be a little bit of a curse of a thing that some of us aquas kind of have experienced in our life or that we may tend to do without realizing it and then now we realize it now we know not to do it <clears throat> and i talked about this today on my live on instagram actually xi underscore missy underscore xi towards the ending of the live we were talking about that that like a lot of us are realizing in this life now after all of the lessons and doing all the deep shadow work that we have sort of been drawn to people where it's been more crushes pining yearning for someone that it's unrequited or we can't have falling in love with someone that we know falling in love right but it wasn't really love with someone that we knew it just wasn't really going to work out any fucking ways it's for whatever reasons whether it's because it's a protection thing or whether it's just because in our idea of our heads we're just so in love with the fantasy right although it's like fucking we live in the ethers as aquas we don't do the pisces thing where pisces you guys love romance and the fantasy of that and so you get sucked up into the rose-colored glasses aquas are very logical we're very analytical but we live in the ethers in that sense of we're the visionaries so we're always envisioning things it's and imagine if like you were a, a writer an author and you're writing a book that's like kind of what we do in our heads so we see a stranger on the street and we have concocted this whole story in our head of like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. and we sort of love that idea, that detachment of it. We're still feeling these things, but we're detached from it being in the physical. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you fucking don't. But a, a true aqua energy, we're just like, yep. And now we're finding, oh my God. So now, no more unrequited. You won't be attracted to unrequited. Hopefully. We got a bunch coming out all at the same time. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, walking away from temporary fireworks and spark. This is a spark, but it is temporary. Scary thing. Funny how it's a scary thing, because it's not necessarily scary, but maybe for some of you it is. The thing about the Knight of Wands is it can be very quick, fast energy. It could also be a one-night stand. Comes in quick. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They out. See that? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And they out. Some of you may have been okay with that, too. Remember? No emotional detachment. Excuse me. No emotional attachment. Wanting the emotional detachment. Coming full circle, looking at yourself going, oh my God, I did that to myself unconsciously. But I get it now. I do want things that I can't have. I do pull myself away from things that I feel could have a huge potential. But the things that I know unconsciously or consciously know that it's not going to fully work out, I sort of tend to gravitate towards. Then we have the Emperor, big dick energy, Aries energy, but it's big dick energy. Emperor is like the boss, the CEO, the shot caller, the one in charge, the captain, Capitano. 
very stoic, very seasoned. Emperor of Winter, some shit. But the Emperor is hard to read. The Emperor can be stubborn. And he can be slightly egotistical. Now, the thing about the Emperor energy reminds me of like um, a person who's just so used to kind of getting their way. Things kind of have been easy for them, attracting in partners. And so it reminds me of, for example, Bella and Edward in Twilight. How Edward was just so spoiled being able to read everyone's minds, right? Then he meets Bella and he can't read that bitch's mind for nothing. It's a block. See the high priestess? Keeper of secrets. Elusive. Hidden mysterious someone comes across another person and they can't fucking figure them out what the fuck it's a it's that kind of an energy. what the fuck i can't figure this person out i don't know if they like me if they hate me i don't know what they're thinking i, I they're different i can't it's just, i can't figure them out is i don't know driving them crazy driving them nuts can't figure it out or you can't figure them out however it works now the high priest is super fucking hella intuitive she's tapped the fuck in somebody here could be really into spiritual things you know they love divinatory tools tarot pendulums crystal balls astrology you know shit like that horoscope zodiacs keeper of secrets though she is very <coughs> secretive What is she secretive about? <clears throat> you really want to know? Well, she keeps a secret. Her feelings. They're used to people dropping their panties, bending over real quick. I love you. Call me. I want to be with you. You're so handsome. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bitch, don't do that. A bitch, don't do that. So they don't know what it is. Oh my God. Is it unrequited? Am I doing the thing where I fall in love with people or are attracted to people that don't want me? But in this particular connection, they want each other. They just both got a little bit of something, something going on that they got to kind of work through. You know how you know they run from each other. They're both runners. And in the past, there was a lot of runner chaser these two will run chase and then freak out and then run run right and then they kind of kind of gravitate back towards each other again it's like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm freaking the fuck out because it could be really something serious and oh my god i feel things blah 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 runner chaser and then the chaser goes fuck that freaks out and then now they both run this is what i'm feeling what brings the two of them together eventually? Love, because it is the real thing. We do not tolerate, nor do we entertain toxic, fucking low vibe, runner chaser, unrequited shit. <clears throat> we don't tolerate that. Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's really, really irritated today for some reason. <clears throat> This nine of pentacles here is a single independent person living their best life. She doesn't need you, but she wants you. <coughs> it's a bit of a chin check for this masculine because he's used to them wanting and needing him or her. And it's very shocking when they when you come across someone who's just sort of independent like this and sort of just different so different she's i keep hearing him say that too like i don't understand i don't get it well maybe you're not supposed to house so 
something here about a house. Home, something about home. A home or a house. It's funny because I heard home is the key. House, house and a key, right? Key to the house. Feels very blues cozy. The gift, someone could be gifted a fucking house. I have felt that for years. Someone buys someone a house. It can also be the gift, right? The gift means that it's something that's hidden. It's wrapped up so you don't see what it is on the inside. Someone here may not have realized it was what it was. Something may have been hidden in plain sight. That's what a gift is, right? The gift is inside of this wrapping, so it's hidden in plain sight. Ooh, hidden in plain sight. Oh, yes, exclamation mark. Spirit said yes. Focus. Yes, it's hidden in plain sight. Helpful people. Feels like a friend. Oh, something flipped here. Meditation brings answers. Maybe you get help. Answers when you meditate. Helpful people could be your spiritual team. Ancestors. Spirit guides and angels. And then opportunity. Somebody has a new opportunity that comes through. It's a work one too. A new work opportunity. Career. Something with career. Somebody's... I'm going to say it the way they say it. Their finances explode. It's sort of like... Um, like if you were to hit the jackpot or a lottery. Or if you were to sign a deal that is like huge dollar dollar bills y'all seraphis bay ascension move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here rising up he is risen it's like jesus energy right he is risen rising up there's this energy of finally coming into their true self that's when you guys have this healthy chance at it right but if two people are like this or one is like this and one is like this it's not a match low vibe going to be low vibe tolerating fuckery and, and toxicity right but higher vibe they both have to be evolved cracked open conscious yeah then you have lord ganesh infinite abundance obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing one of the luckiest cards to get because what it tells you is that the universe is going to sort of work things out into your favor they're going to remove any blocks and then, of course, my right-hand woman, Goddess Isis, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So a lot of heavy manifestation happening right now. So please be sure that you sort of keep your eye on the prize. Don't get too sucked into the distractions of things, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into your extended. Again, this is your September readings. So your extended will be in the September extended readings of my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. Click that upside down triangle below. It'll bring up that link. Also on my website, I just added new products. My newest bracelet, um, Malachite, which just suddenly got channeled to me last night. And then I went down a fucking rabbit hole with it today and was mesmerized because I realized Malachite is green and there's like swirls in it, right? And it reminds me of the heart of Tafiti from Moana. Remember, like, the, 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 she was wild, kind of like Lilith. And I was actually supposed to bring out my Lilith bracelet first. And last night, Spirit said, hell no, Lilith, come after this. We're going to do Malachite first. So, again, it is about attracting love and abundance and wealth and prosperity. But it also is about a protection stone. And it helps to open up the heart chakra as well. Also, the stone for doulas because it helps to sort of um, assist in childbirth or that birthing new things energy um also my two newest moon waters my sage protection moon water as well as my cloud nine which is to help bring a feeling of calm and happiness and joy um so yeah get your pre-orders in on my website also my patreon link is below if you love erotic tarot readings i do them there so uh, let's go ahead and get into your extended i am no longer accepting personal reading requests while i catch up on those that have already requested the only thing i am doing as per usual is um, emergencies and i have to keep emergency sessions open because sometimes people really really need some help so um, emergencies is available 200 dollars for 30 minutes booked within about seven days or so from payment okay all right fellow aquas and aqua cross watchers i will see you in the, in the extended
Love you. Bye.